and you are listening to the Bone Down Show. <laughs> I'm looking at me like you wanted me to say it at the same time, but I wasn't ready. I'm here with Obi, <laughs> my my uncut, filthy, filthy, uncircumcised friend. How That's are right. you? I'm great. How are you, Lando? Excellent. Um, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, how you been? Been great. Excellent. Um, we are here with our very special guest. Eat the mic. And remind us of your <laughs> and remind us of your name, Padme. Padme. Um, what's up? What's up, Padme? How you been? <laughs> Padme is our special guest, all the way from Chicago to our Manhattan studios, just to be on the on the show, just to see us. Thanks for being here. Um, just to like as a precursor to our show, um, we're sports fans and. Not Let's real. just get down I'm to not it. Not a sports fan. I don't know either. anything about he sports. Like, I needed to explain football to him yesterday. <laughs> yeah, and today. I'm not really a fan, but I am a fan of one person. Like I, she had to explain to me the the tape, like why the football coach, like the football refs, come out with the tape and the stick to see if you have a first down. Oh yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. didn't understand what oh, that the meant. Tape, the chain? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, chain, not tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't understand. They bring scotch tape. <laughs> yeah, out, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they got duct tape and they just reel it out. It takes forever to peel back. Um, to so speaking of sports, who was our favorite athlete? Who was not only our favorite athlete, who was the best athlete of all time? Muggsy, Muggsy Bogues. Bogues. And why? Because uh, Muggsy Bogues, how tall was he? I don't know, like 5'2 or something. He was, okay. Well, <laughs> he was 5'3. Five, 5'3, five, I said I was close. Close. 15 five. years in the NBA. <laughs> Averaged seven points per game, largely for the Hornets. Long story short, the guy shouldn't have been playing basketball. Dude, I'm 5'7. No, you're not. Uh, yes, I am. I have like <laughs> no. When I double up, when I w- <laughs> <You just laughs> <had some instances. laughs> when I when I double up on the odor on on the odor eaters on my shoes, I'm five seven. Okay, when oh, I go to the you, store so and I double, when I go to Walgreens and I buy walking around on like odor balls. When I buy like a four pack of odor <laughs> eaters, I'm officially five seven. Okay, <laughs> so that means I'm 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 towering over Muggsy Bogues. There's no chance I'd ever be in in the NBA. I went to my guidance counselor uh, with my odor eaters packed in, and she's uh, and I was like, I want to be in the, in the NBA, and she's like, Fuck that! You should probably <laughs> you should probably be in like water polo or something. I don't know. Water polo. I don't know. That was a team at the time. I went to a rich school. Um, you have to shave your entire body for water polo. Well, I've shaved a lot of my body. If you, you if you haven't portion. noticed, oh yeah. God. If you can't see, <laughs> I've got a star going. This motherfucker has an arrow. Yeah, in hair. Yeah, pointing to his crotch. Yeah. Well, just for directions for the for the ladies who don't know where to go. <laughs> so anyway, I so I'm I'm easily. not I'm you do yeah. so I, so she needs instructions. You, you, like you need you need instructions as to what to do. If you just had to feel around. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you see so that? what? what I you uh, use a stencil. You, it's like so perfect. No, you can. You, right? can you didn't even. How did you do that so well? In the mirror, you can take a. <laughs> okay. You can take a picture of this and put it on the thing. Okay. Because I, 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 I want people will. to. Because I don't think I'm articulating it very well for the listeners. No, we will. Definitely it, it's take a very a visual thing. Okay. Um. So so uh. A guidance counselor would have told me, don't go in the NBA. Like, you have to be at least six foot something to be in the NBA. Right. Muggsy Bogues was like, fuck that. I'm 5'3". I'm going to dominate largely for the Hornets. Right. At 5'3". Yeah. Okay. And he's just, like, he's kind of a lot like us, you know, like, we're, we're the little guys that suck and nobody listens to our fucking show. We don't give a shit. We're going to do it anyway. Because what do we have? We have naysayers. We have a bunch of naysayers. And we, we overcome like, naysayers just like who? Fucking Muggsy Bugs, man. Damn right, and that's why he's our <laughs> hero. I have another hero who's the second greatest baseball player, athlete of all time. <laughs> second greatest baseball player. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> so not not the second greatest. I said that wrong. Not the second greatest baseball player, but the second greatest athlete of all time. And um, would you help us tell this story about the bet that we made? We used to go to school together. Like, what? How many years ago? Um. We would have graduated ten years ago. Yeah, but when did we when did we first meet? I feel like fourteen years ago. Fourteen years ago. Here's the deal: we made. We were living in Chicago. I'm from Detroit. She's a big time Chicago Cubs fan. Oh yeah. And we used to talk a lot of shit. I was like, "Here's the deal." 
<laughs> I will pay for your tickets. It, it was Chicago versus the Detroit Tigers. Chicago Cubs versus Detroit Tigers. I go, I'll pay for your tickets. If Detroit wins, you owe me one blowjob. <laughs> and if Detroit loses, I will pay for the tickets. And they were like expensive tickets. They were like 65 bucks a piece. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, it's... It's the it's the sixth it's the fifth <laughs> My no it's jobs are only worth one thirty. <laughs> you calculated this very well, didn't you? Yeah. So um, <laughs> so it's the sixth it's the sixth inning. Cubs are er, Cubs are winning. So it's six one or no seven one. So Cubs are winning by six points in the seventh. I'm like shit. And <laughs> and she's talking mad shit. Yeah, well, of course. She's like, oh, you, like Detroit is a bunch of, like a bunch of pussies. They don't know how to get a run in. Like it doesn't stop. Like it's like the bullshit <laughs> she's talking is relentless. Okay, and then the bases like Detroit's up to bat, bases gets loaded, and who's the greatest athlete of all time? In your opinion, Pudge Rodriguez. Pudge Rodriguez <laughs> gets on the plate. Pudge Rodriguez. Yeah. Pu- his, real, name's, his name's Pudge. Ch- no, real, real stats. Google that shit. It's real shit. I'll do it later, but okay. it sounds like the name for your dick. <laughs> like well, it ended up having to do with my, my dick. dick because here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> because here's what happened. Um, oh. Bases are loaded. Pudge hits it over the fence. Okay, grand slam. Oh, That's shit. four points. Pudge. So now it's five to seven in the sixth. Okay. Yeah. Now the game's getting tight. Now she starts to quiet down with the shit oh, talk. Oh, sweating a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> sweating a little bit. Oh, okay. Am I going to have to suck some? And that, okay, so a- automatically, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Pudge is the coolest motherfucker on the planet, other than Muggsy Bogues, obviously. Okay, so the, the, uh, Tigers rally back, largely because of Pug's, uh, Grand Slam. Pudge. 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 Pudge, Pudge I'm yeah, sorry. Ah, yeah. uh, okay, Pudge. <laughs> he is a dog. Um, but, <laughs> but, but the, the Tigers end up winning by one. And I was like, you know what? I'll be a gentleman. Like, I'll go home. Like, it was a nice night. It was fun. There was banter exchanged, whatever. I, but I like to keep my word. But she keeps her word because she's a good, nice. honest businessman, uh, businesswoman. <laughs> and she's a good Catholic. <laughs> okay? So we go back to her place. And she, like, as a good business Catholic woman, <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she, she owns up. Like, and I get the blowjob. And I'm like, she didn't have to do that because I gave her an out. You know, I said, you didn't have to do right, this. Okay. Right. And, uh, <laughs> but she does. And I'm like, wow. A bet's a bet. I'm like, a bet's that's, a bet. But at true. the same time, like, this girl likes me. You know, because she didn't <laughs> have to do it, but she did. This girl likes me. This is a thing. And I, I called her like maybe a couple days later, no answer. I called her later, no answer. No answer for how many years? 12. For 12 years. Oh my God. She, so she was like, she doesn't, fuck this guy. she doesn't fucking talk to me. And so, and now we're reunited on the Bone Down show. Um, Wow! Yeah, so th- this this is it. This is years. this is a match made in heaven. Were you like, were you mad? No, that you lost. Maybe like you know. No, like, no she's she's a Catholic. Like when you make a word, you, you have stick to, keep to your it. Word. Right. Yeah. You keep your word. So tr- I'm gonna a new acronym: BC Dub, Business B- Catholic Woman. There it is. Right? Is that what it was? That's so. That's an acronym. <laughs> yeah, that that works. So um, that's what happened uh, over a decade ago. Mm-hmm. So um, what's been going on since? Um, I heard you uh, you might have spent some time in an institution. Yeah, and for some reason, that's what inspired you to have me come visit you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute. It's like, Explain. So... You like Facebook me mm-hmm. after like twelve years. Yeah. And then also, and we're like talking. We start like we exchange numbers. We're texting. Yeah. And shit. And then also, and I just go missing for like a week, and I get my phone back because I was in a loony bin, and <laughs> there were like 
voicemails and texts from Al, from Lando. Yes. And I did not know <laughs> how to respond. So I was like, sorry. We'll, we'll edit that out. I was like, sorry that I didn't respond to you. I was in the loony bin for a week. <laughs> Five seconds later, he's calling my cell phone. <laughs> and it's like, do you want to come and, like, visit me? And now I'm here. So what was that like? Like, what, what was your stint there in the bin? It was fun. Eat the mic. It was fun. I mean, I, like, kind of like rallied all the women on my floor to like revolt against the doctors and social workers. <laughs> yeah. There was like a crazy See, you're you're a natural born leader. There was like a crazy 70 year old lady who like was always so sad and then one day just like broke down and talked about how she was there because her husband was making her fuck the dog and everyone who was there what? were like all the younger people are like, is this real right now? Like why is there a 75 year old lady who's into bestiality like sitting in this room with us? Oh my God. Um, it's kind of like one we, flew over the coop. And we also right? all like, discovered that crazy chicks prefer the word cunt to bitch. See, what it, I, that doesn't make any sense because a bitch could be a, like, a man can be a bitch. Like, you got your ass kicked by, yeah, like, no, it, a fifth grader and you're an eighth grader. You, that eighth grader's a bitch. It does Or, like, sense, a female though. dog. That's a bitch. There's no right, other word for being a cunt. De- yeah, but if a you're a cunt, means you're, you're dehumanized. You're a dog now. You're not a... Right, a right, but like a cunt part. is just totally like you're that. you're a horrible that. woman. You're a cunt. Yeah, but, but you're still a human. I was just explaining this to him, and this like lady like gave me the dirtiest look for. Yeah, saying well, we we were in, we <laughs> we were, we, you? we, we, we were like no, we were downtown like sitting at a like, table I outside. New York pizza or something. And like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, <laughs> it was literally in that context. So or in that in that uh, environment. So it was. But she cool. looked like such white trash. I wanted to be like, who are you to judge me for saying cunt? Hey, who yeah, are you to you judge for saying white trash? She was in a jersey. That is not the proper nomenclature. <laughs> <laughs> like she's like into sports she should handle the word cunt better <laughs> okay fair enough i guess some for some reason for some convoluted reason that makes sense i mean you call me an uppity like bitch all the time well because so you because you kind of are so if i could handle no the no word no cunt. here's why you're an uppity bitch <laughs> how how do you work you didn't know the a difference. You go, I don't know I don't know how an electric lawnmower works because you have to pull the cord. Guess what? That's a gas powered lawnmower. And you don't know the fucking difference. An electric one, you hit the button and it starts working. That's called electricity. Lawnmowers? I don't even know. You, no, she's never had one. You know why? Because she's an uppity bitch. <laughs> That's why? That is exactly why. Or in Chicago, we just don't have grass. We have to mow. Yeah. See? Okay. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so as you've as we've we reunited after 12 years, we decided to, like, explore, like, sexual things. Okay. Very nice. So she Very goes nice. through the airport, and she texts me. She goes, I have a, and we're not, in, I, like, I'm not into, like, sadomasochism at all. I I've never done it. I'm I not call into bullshit. It. Okay, whatever. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Last night got kind of weird, but um, <laughs> but no, I never, I never actually like whipped you or hurt you no. in that regard. Okay, no. but she goes through TSA <laughs> with the whip hanging out of her like suitcase pocket, <laughs> and the TSA guy, like, can you explain? Didn't he like compliment you yeah. on this? Oh, so he's into that. Eat the mic. He was like, "Nice whip," and I was like, "Oh, I can't wait to use it." Okay, nice. so what else did you bring? And this is the key one. Well, I bought bondage tape. No, that's not the key one. And then <laughs> I bought edible chocolate body paint. And what's the brand? Because we want to anti-plug this brand. Kama Sutra. The worst shit you could possibly Kama use. Kama Sutra. Okay, Kama, not, it's it's like not a, like bo- a It's Kama. chocolate, like, a, like Kama. It's called Kama, okay, like not gram- Karma. Like a grammar thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, not like the grammar no, no, no. thing. It's just they forgot the R because they're that like dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and it comes in like a little <laughs> hockey puck kind of thing and whatever. And it comes with a brush and there's no point in using the brush because this shit isn't like paint. It's fucking molasses. Okay. It's chocolatey. Fl- it tastes good. But it would it's, be great with pretzels. It's It, it mm. would be. It, it, no, it, it, it's like Nutella, only thicker. I got you. Okay, I, I, only I'm way right thicker. Right it's you. like it's like Nutella meets Aunt Jemima's. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what it is. Okay, and so like we start playing around like simple stuff like nipples and neck or whatever, 
and then like whatever like down below and i get up and <laughs> she just starts laughing i'm like what <laughs> And then we clean up, whatever. We go, I go in the mirror and I look like a fucking werewolf <laughs> because this shit is like, I have brown shit everywhere, like all over my <laughs> cheeks. Like it starts from my nose and just like splits down the middle. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like it, one half goes this way, the other half goes this way. And you, in all honesty, you're no better. <laughs> okay, now, and let's check this out. Let me check this out. I, I, <laughs> you still have that shit in your hair. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel that. <laughs> this stuff isn't paint. It's it's mol it's molasses. <laughs> do not buy it. Let's let's do an anti plug one more time. Kama Sutra chocolate body paint. Do not do it. buy it. Don't it's the do worst it. shit. And it takes like the only good thing I can say about it is that somehow with hot water it just rinses away. Not like, all your hair though. Especially not. But, but with not your hair. <laughs> So, um, thank God I'm a brunette. So that's, that's, <laughs> right. yeah, right. Cause it kind of matches in. So, so don't use that. And, and that's, that's what happened. And don't use that on white sheets. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Okay. Here's another thing. I'm going to have to rinse that in the cycle like three more times. It's not coming out. Cause either. I showed, you know, my roommate, have you met him? I have not actually. Oh, okay. So he's like, did, did you? Did you like shat <laughs> not only through your top sheet, but through that into your bottom sheet and then onto your like onto on, onto your like pillowcases? I'm like, it's not what you think. Smell it. He's like, I'm not smelling that. <laughs> like, there's no way. I'm like, dude, no, it smells like delicious chocolate. He goes, I don't care. I'm like, no, no, no. Like, He's check like, out the box. Oh my like, God. check out the Kama Sutra my chocolate roommate, chocolate thing. Like, this is what we used. My roommate's been smearing shit. And so, so that shit's been in the wash for like a day and a half. <laughs> and like, I want to make sure that that gets gone or else everybody who sees it is going to get the absolutely wrong impression. And once they get that impression, there's really no explaining. Is it going to stain? Do you think it'll stain? I don't know. Well, I, mean, I, I keep saying bleach. It's white, just right? bleach. Bleach it. Bleach shit out of it. <sighs> yeah, but the problem is um, the like top cover is like a, a tan. So if I bleach it, I'm wondering if, if it's going to leave, like, bleach stains. They make color-safe bleach. Maybe you should just tie-dye your sheets. That'd be cool. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, but there's just gonna, it's, it's going to be tie-dye with shit stains on it. Nobody's going to know. Well, that is it for this show. Um, I just, uh, I think we'd all like to give a shout-out to our very close friends, uh, Jordan, Reed, Meredith. Hitting the road on respecttheroad.com, respect um, which is a comedy tour. And if you want to see them, like I said, respecttheroad.com. <laughs> oh, and they also have a Facebook, which is Respect the Road. And respect is spelled with a K. So and like R E S P E K. E -K. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Respect the road. Respect. Yeah. Very excited about this. And they're going from here, which is Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, a lot of you think that that's our Manhattan studios, that we, which we normally record in. But here <laughs> we are uh, currently in Wilmington, North Carolina. They're going from here all the way to the end of, uh, end of the nation. Yeah. Cross all the way country. to Seattle. And they're making like a thousand stops. And we just want to give them a shout out. Um, hit up their uh, Facebook yeah, it should, be, it should be good. It should be hilarious. Go to their GoFundMe. It's three hilarious comics, and they're kicking ass all across the country. They've been very good uh, friends of ours, and if you are new to our channel, then fuck you. Fuck the fuck And off. if you are uh, familiar with our channel, then you know damn well who Jordan Bench is, that's for sure. <laughs> um, because uh, if you go back like from the original episode of Bone Down, um, <laughs> uh, uh, he, he was there, and then the second episode, I, or maybe third, he was there, and he's, uh, Jordan Bench is a huge fan. And uh, so uh, Reed and Meredith, and we really want to support them, and we want our... Um, three listeners or three to four listeners. How yeah, many do we have? We might have four now. We might have four at this point. <laughs> we um, lost like le fifteen. <laughs> we did. <laughs> um, I don't know what we said. But. We, you got like my mom, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Obi's cousin. Um, <laughs> um, we we <laughs> have uh, your cousin and uh, maybe another listener. So that makes it to four. 
and uh, we, we've all got your back and we want you to kick ass and uh, make a bunch of money so you can trickle it down to us. <laughs> uh, anything else going on? No, that sounds about good. All right. Peace out. Later.